Let's look at a convolution of a square wave and a triangle wave. Now what you might not see in this particular uh, picture is that it's a thousand units high and a milli units long. The area is still one, but when you compare it to something too long and one high, this is going to act like a delta function. When you look at the time domain equation, when after taking the, uh, the convolution via Laplace, um, you might get this equation like this, and it might be a little bit hard to interpret. The fact that you should really get almost the same output as you put in because something a thousand units high and a milli unit long with it means an area of one times something so much larger than it's so much longer than itself means that you're really taking the delta function but let's look at this intuitively in this animation we're moving the square wave and convoluting it with this triangle wave and we're getting a smoothing shape and you'll see that this is two units long this is one unit long and it should go back to zero at three there's a programming glitch as you can see uh, cutting that out but when we look at it coming through as it comes around again you can see linear uh, constant times a linear makes a squared then we taper off the area increase then overlap and now we have linear uh, constant times a linear which gives us inverse squared and it comes back now that's when they're very close to each other now what if we're getting closer to that um, delta function all right in this case it's a tenth of a unit long and ten units high uh, can't draw them on the same scale so it's going off the top of the screen there but you can see that it's a lot closer we can see some rounding where it's just the linear the constant is entering into the linear and we're getting a linear growth but then once the uh, this is totally overlapped by the triangle um, the area is just increasing um, linearly and not squared then you have that rollover the same effect and now you can see um, that it goes back to zero pretty much to 0.1 which is what we should have gotten now we can um, do this again this runs a little bit slower so this is a hundredth wide and a hundred tall and you might not even see anything going on here there's a little bit of yellow and if I zoom in you can see in fact yes it's matching very close um, and as it eventually ma makes its way um, through and we get to this rounding of the peak All right. but if you were to plot it at scale it, it would look the same and this is just a hundred tall by uh, 10 milli wide a thousand tall by one milli wide you at this scale you would not be able to see anything now so as you take an object that starts and ends at zero and whose area is one and um, convolve that with something well any shape will be start to become the delta function 
So in this case, both shapes are the same, all right, near the same time, and they're blurring each other out. But let's turn the triangle wave into a delta function. So we're going to um, do that by making, now that's a triangle wave, but it's so high that it's off the, off the window. And even though we're moving the rectangle wave through, all right, we can see that there's this squared growth. Then the area is going to remain constant because there's a complete overlap. And then it'll come down. So this is almost going to look like the square wave except um, you know we have a little bit of rounding here and a little bit of rounding here and a slope. If um, we can try to go a little bit farther and we'll see that we'll get hopefully we'll get very close to the shape. Alright. Now that looks like the same delta before except in reality it's a triangle wave, you just can't see the slopes at scale. And you can just barely make out before it goes to here. And it takes a long time. Um, it's just the way the simulation works when I take a finer in step. And now this is even sharper. It's still a triangle wave. It's just you can't make it out at that scale. And even if I zoom in a little bit, it's almost indistinguishable from uh, what will ultimately be the square wave. 